Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla. Today we are checking out the O'Neill One Series helmet. And of course, this helmet is available at Revzilla.com. So the O'Neill One Series helmet, this is gonna be the entry level option with O'Neill's line. So if you're just thinking about, you know, dipping your toes into the dirt riding application, getting out there at the track, or perhaps you're riding on an ATV, this could be a great option for you to consider, and it's only $120. We've got a polycarb ABS shell construction, one shell overall, two EPS, DOT certified, and it's three pounds in a size medium. Intermediate oval internal shape, which means it's gonna be a bit more elongated front to back than it's going going to be side to side. That generally works well for most of the American market. Now that I'm talking about the fit, I did want to take a second. I measure right at 22 and a half inches around the full circumference of my head. I typically wear a size medium. No surprises here. This fits me true to size. So I would certainly say get your measurements, reference the sizing chart, and you should be all set. And at $120, this will ship to you for free. And we do have our price match policy in place that is there to ensure that you're getting the best deal around. Starting at the front of of the helmet, the chin bar. You can see you've got an open vent here, but you do have some uh, netting on the inside with some foam as well. That's gonna help prevent debris from coming through the front of the chin bar. Obviously you can get through right here, so make sure that you're wearing some goggles to protect your eyes, but you will get some ventilation there moving through the helmet. And then we've got some ventilation towards the top as well. And that's gonna help that airflow move through the EPS of the helmet, which is important. And through the back with these exhaust vents, it's gonna allow it to circulate around your head to keep you more comfortable when you're out there riding in the dirt application because I can tell you if you're riding dirt bikes you're going to be generating a ton of heat so it is nice to get that airflow moving through the EPS as well the other thing I wanted to mention about the back is this little ridge right here on the back of the shell that's going to help the goggles stay in place I've been racing plenty of times and I've had the goggles kind of sliding around on me a bit uh, it's normally not a big deal but I do like that we do have this additional ridge right here on the back to help those stay in place especially at this particular price point. Overall, the shell design is pretty typical for an entry level dirt style lid. The peak visor itself, you're going to see these three plastic screws at the top. You do have a little bit of adjustability with the visor. And of course, this is designed for blocking roost or scooping underneath branches. If you're out there on the trails, uh, this will certainly come in handy. One thing I love though, I ride a ton of tight single track. So I'm dodging trees on a regular basis. I have had the occasional branch get caught underneath my peak visor. So it's nice to have three plastic screws on here that are designed to break away in the event that you get a branch caught underneath the visor. So that is gonna make a huge difference because it's gonna help prevent neck injuries right here. Uh, because if this grabs underneath a branch, you're riding with some speed, it doesn't break away, well now it's yanking your head. So I like even at 120 bucks, they're paying attention to those additional safety features. Let's work our way to the interior here real quick. Take a quick look on the inside. The interior is pretty straightforward moisture wicking um, interior. Everything is removable, so you can pop everything out of here. Slight contour to the face, so it's very comfortable. That's gonna break in and relax with regular use and time. One thing to note, no speaker cutouts. Not a whole lot of dirt riders are adding speaker cutouts on the inside here uh, so they can add a Bluetooth communication system. But it is worth noting if some of you out there are looking to add that. Uh, if you're riding out on the trails with a few of your buddies or on ATVs, I know a lot of people like being able to communicate. So just something worth noting there. Headliner, straightforward again. And on the inside, as I mentioned, no speaker cutouts, but you do have these pretty decent channels on the inside that's gonna help circulate the airflow. One thing I don't really love is how this is a little bit unfinished. This is during the manufacturing process when it was being molded together and just making sure everything was adhered appropriately, but it just looks a little unfinished. Uh, at 120 bucks, it's certainly not gonna be a deal breaker for me, but overall, I think for $120, this is gonna be an excellent bang for the buck option for any riders out there looking to get into the dirt riding application. Of course, if you have any additional questions about this helmet, you can always reach out to our gear geeks, give them a call at 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit and taking a closer look at the O'Neill One Series helmet. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.